we're going to show you a quintessential English summer cocktail. But there's no reason why English people should be the only ones enjoying it. I'm going to show, hopefully, spread this little lovely cocktail all the way around the world. I'm going to do it by showing you how to make it properly. So, you're going to need a chopping board and a knife to start with because there's a lot of chopping and a lot of fruit. This is basically a fruit salad in a glass with alcohol on it. We're going to need for this strawberries, mint, cucumber, orange, and lemon juice. Hey, lemon juice. All right. First up chop up a couple of strawberries. This is quite a large large glass. I'm going to be making it in a mason jar. I reckon four strawberries per serving. Why not? All right, and then just chop these up into little chunks. We're going to shake this in the in the mason jar anyway, so it's not really going to matter. They're going to get kind of squished up when they're in there. So in we go. Loads of strawberries. And the beautiful thing about this is you get to eat the fruit afterwards. Once you've had the drink, you've got a little bowl of fruit to go crazy with. All right, mint, big water mint. Again, last week, remember, we rolled this just to wake the flavors up. So, rolly, rolly, all right, in we go. Now, a little bit of cucumber, crucial, crucial flavor for PIMS. Now, if anyone doesn't know what PIMS is, um, I will try to explain. Well, Wikipedia describes it as a gin-based tonic. It came around, I believe, 1827 by Mr. James Pym, who actually owned a coffee bar in, uh, in London, shot to fame by when he created this um, kind of, I suppose it's an aperitif style drink in some ways. Um, it's basically a gin flavored with uh, bitter orange and uh, various different uh, fortified wines. A couple of slices of orange in there as well. Again, it's all about the fruit, chop, chop, chop. Now this is actually, this cocktail actually works really, really well as a, as a punch bowl as well. In England, this is kind of like mother's only cocktail. It's, uh, you know, it's the only drink that she knows how to make. She's been making it for years, her mum taught her how to make it. And you do jugs of pims at home, but I like to make them individually just so that you know that each drink is gonna be tip top, you don't stop. Just squeezing the lemon in normally, I'm not even gonna use a juicer. Again, the idea of this show is that you can just do this stuff at home yourself without any fancy equipment, try not to smash that. All right, so we're just going to squeeze the lemon juice in there. But essentially, well, the way people tend to make this around the world is they tend to make it with a little bit of cucumber, double, double helping of Pim's liqueur or Pim's aperitif, and then they just top it up with either lemonade in the UK, or you guys call it something else over here in America, and then call it lemonade, um, or, um, or ginger ale. Now those things are okay, they're all well and good, but it's always better to get fresh ingredients in there. So essentially what we're gonna be making, we're gonna be making a fresh, fresh lemon, uh, lemonade in here. Just over half a lemon here, actually. And then I'm gonna add some sugar. Powdered sugar again, just so that when, it sh when we shake it, it's gonna go in really easily. That was about a teaspoon and a half. And then a nice, this is not very strong pims, it's only about 25% alcohol. So don't be shy, put plenty in. And then what we're going to do, we'll just cover that over with ice and then I'm going to screw the lid on the old uh, mason jar and give it a shake. I mean you can do it, you can do a fancy bartender shake if you like, you're going to shake it with one hand like this. The key is just make sure you shake it really really well and really hard. So, so shake that good. Don't be shy, you know. To be honest, people get shy when they're shaking cocktails. They think, oh, it looks stupid. But to be quite honest, if you do a really, really lame shake, let's demonstrate. If you do a really, really lame shake, you actually look worse than if you do a full, a full uh, hearty shake. You know, if you're doing this, everyone thinks, wow, you're a little bit limp wristed. So, again, top that up with ice, right to the top. Now you've got it done away with the lid. A little splash of soda, if you can fit it in, but it's not necessary, like that. And then what I like to do is just garnish that. Again, like we did last week, wake that mint up, pop it in there. And then we've got, look at these, we've got some old school straws to go in there as well. Look at that. Check that out, how easy was that? We just did that, that was real time as well. You know, what did that take us? Three, four minutes? You're gonna be the star of the party, the star of the barbecue. Or you're going to be the star down at the beach where all the lovely ladies are, let's face it. And there we go, look at that. Who doesn't want to drink one of those? I know I do.